Hi, I'm David Espinosa, uh, the boot maker. I'm in Phoenix, Arizona. I uh, have been in the shoe and leather trade since 1968. I learned boot making in 1972. Uh, originally, I was inspired by uh, Jesse, Jess, Jesse Bogle. He was Jesse the boot maker here in, in Phoenix. Uh, and that was in the late 60s because he his shop was right around the corner from uh, where I went to high school. I went to East High School here in Phoenix, Arizona and uh, in the 60s uh, that area of Phoenix uh, from Van Buren and 48th Street all the way into Tempe were uh, feedlots. So there was a lot of cowboys around and Jesse was a uh, bootmaker to a lot of these uh, ranchers that would bring cattle in to leave them in the feedlots and then we had the Cudahy meat packing close by so uh, there was a lot of cattle business going on in those days so. and I used to walk into Jesse's shop and ask him to show me how to do it and uh, he would always kind of chase me off because he knew I was in his daughter's class and said you still got a chance so you better finish school you know because I do this because I'm an old cowboy and I've been bucked off the horse too many times. So I finished school and then I, uh, I, I uh, pursued the boot making. Uh, I was self-taught for the first five years and uh, I used to make sandals, purses and belts. But then I, uh, I studied with RJ Foley boot maker for about a year to learn, learn a little bit about boot making. He bought Jesse's boots out at one time. So, you know, that, that's the, so he learned it from Jesse also. We, we, we have this saying that the shoemakers are born, not made. You have to have a passion to do this job. And uh, all of the shoemakers that work here are from generations of shoemakers. I said, I'm not from uh, a shoemaking family, but I do believe that uh, I have a lot of shoemaking in my background because uh, I'm, I'm good at this craft and I learned it real fast. And then when my father retired, he came to work as a shoemaker and he learned it even faster. So he uh, thought, well, maybe there's some shoemaking history in our lineage, you know, so. Uh, I think there's some truth to the shoemakers are born, not made.